So I'm outside Café de Paris in London, one of my favourite venues. I actually worked there for many, many years and I loved it. Unfortunately, it's closed today, but we're going to meet Sharan Rose, who's my business partner at SAS Productions, and we're going to find out how business has been for us. Sharan, thank you for coming on PCTV. It's lovely to see you. How have you been? I've been good. How have you? I'm all right. We just was outside Café de Paris, where we first met nearly 10 years ago. Crazy. It's been a long time. Some of our best memories there, actually, and that's how SAS Productions started. So how has life been since lockdown's been lifted for the company? Um, it's been very slow, as you can imagine, but things are starting to pick up and I'm hopeful all the entertainment's starting to come back, obviously, as the bars and the clubs are opening. So, yeah. So I came on board with SAS around a year and a half ago? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we also passed W Hotel, which is one of our favourite clients and best clients. Yep. And we can't wait to get started there, can we? Can't wait to get back there. They love um, doing really outrageous, creative things. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back working with them. We spoke to Dario recently, and um, they're not open till sort of end of August. So we're looking at maybe Halloween is our next event there. So, but I know you put on something special for Halloween. Yes, um, last year we went all out crazy kind of all kinds of performers musicians so fingers crossed halloween is in our sights what do you think performers in london are doing right now because there's not a lot of work is there no nope, there's hardly any work i think you're getting the odd job but there's no consistent work because obviously everything's still a bit uncertain at the moment so they're doing a lot of things on social media on zoom TikTok. so that's keeping everyone busy you call me every week with a new TikTok campaign, <laughs> and I think we're doing really well with that, aren't we? How many, I mean, we've gone viral in a couple of videos. Yeah, I mean, I started it at the beginning of lockdown, literally just for a bit of fun, and the next thing I know, I've got 100,000 people watching. So yeah, that's been good for the company. It's great that you're a young female independent woman running such a successful company, and then you brought me on board, which was great. Um, what would you say to other women that are sort of maybe they've just left their job and they think they want to start their own business? What, what advice would you give them? I would say 100% do it. At the beginning, I think it's very uncertain about what direction you're going to go in. It's hard, isn't it? It's yeah. very hard. And all I'm going to say is it doesn't happen overnight. I started the business myself, I think nearly three years ago. And obviously just before lockdown, I would say I was at the peak of being an established, uh, successful company. Mm -hmm. So I would say it takes time. So just go with it and work hard and yeah. If I was on the, on the other side of the table and I was a venue right now and I was looking for an agency to work with, why do you think they should pick us at SAS Productions? Well, you tell me. <laughs> well, I think, you know, People like you, you think you're the driving force behind the business. You think outside the box and you're a perfectionist, which means that they're always going to get a good product and uh, amazing service. Mm. Would you and agree? I, yeah, and I think obviously being in the kind of performing arts industry myself for a long, long time now, I've built up a great network of people. So if a client asks for something, I've got it. And you, you're always building on obviously your relationships and creating really new and imaginative entertainment. Do you think we might see SAS Productions more global in the next couple of years? Fingers crossed. So stay tuned. Well, thanks for coming on the show, Sharan. And uh, I know SAS is going to come out of this and we're going to be stronger than ever, eh? 100%.